The seasons are changing, and Jay Felton's countdown clock to winter ticks, ticks, ticks. He's in the salt business. We just brought in 30,000 tons of Chilean salt. We know we're going to need at least that much to service our customers. You heard him right. Chilean salt, 30,000 tons. Jay says his domestic suppliers couldn't meet this winter's demands, so he ended up ordering in from South America. The salt supply is so far depleted that there wasn't much to sell to anybody except the municipalities this year. So a lot of contractors didn't have a choice but to go and find resources either in other states, bring them in by train, or do what we did, which is to bring in an entire boat. Here's what 30,000 tons of salt being offloaded at the Port of Milwaukee looks like. The pile towers over the vehicles beside it. But it can't just sit there. Jay's trucks are now working sun up to sun down to transport all the salt to 16 storage locations across Wisconsin. While Jay went international, some of his competitors simply ordered early. Inventory is the key. Timothy Brennan's landscaping company works on a much smaller scale, but they stocked up on salt in July and have been sitting on it ever since. The distributors are going to take care of their biggest customers first, and that's not me. It is the highway departments and it is the municipalities. Without those first dibs, Jay and Timothy had to get creative because in this business, running out is not an option. The salt is gone because it's needed at the cities. We've got to find it somewhere else. Both Jay and Timothy say municipalities have been known to reach out to contractors like them for help when salt runs low, but that usually comes later in the winter. Timothy says it's unusual to be faced with shortages this early in the year. David Schumann, CBS 58 News.